Hi, welcome to MC University On Demand. My name's Eric, I'm one of the design engineers here at Matthews, and today we're going to look at how to perform a Pinnacle Lite software update. We'll look at what comes in the kit and how to apply that update to both your PLC and HMI. Let's get started. Pinnacle Lite is our standard control system that utilizes a 5.7 inch HMI along with several buttons and switches for fan and burner control. This should not be confused with our Pinnacle offering which utilizes only a 15 inch HMI for controls. Occasionally, new software versions will be released that will need to be installed on existing Pinnacle Lite dryers. These software updates may include new features, new alarms, or even bug fixes to known issues. To obtain a kit, you'll contact Matthews, but they will only be made available to dealers. When you get your kit, it'll have a USB drive, a memory card, and instructions for applying these updates to your PLC and HMI. Remember, these updates can only be applied to dryers that already have Pinnacle Lite. To begin, let's update our PLC. You can find your PLC in the high voltage cabinet, turn the power off and open the door. If you have a 2015 or newer dryer, you'll see an S7 1200 PLC, and if you have a 2014 or older dryer, you'll have an S7 200 PLC. These PLCs work almost identically and the update process is very similar, but they use different memory cards. Make sure that you order the kit with the proper memory card. Let's take a second to look at what components came with your kit. You should have a USB jump drive, one of two memory cards, the green one, will be sent if you have an S7 200 PLC and the black card will come if you have an S7 1200 PLC and you'll have instructions to help you with this process. You can set your thumb drive aside for now but grab whichever memory card came with the kit. If you have an S7 1200 PLC we want to make sure power is off, open the faceplate and insert your memory card into the slot. Now close the faceplate and turn on power. We're going to want to look at the diagnostic LED. It will be flashing red for about 30 or 45 seconds. After that time it will begin to flash green and wait another 15 seconds to make sure that it's finished. While that's going on let's take a look at what we would do with our S7 200 PLC. In this case we would remove the black placeholder and insert our green memory chip where the placeholder had been. Then turn on power and look at the run LED on the Ethernet module. By now we can see that our S7 1200 PLC has finished updating. The uh, diagnostic LED is flashing green so we can turn off power, remove the memory card, and turn power back on. On this second startup, we'll notice that the diagnostic LED will begin by flashing red, will eventually start flashing green, and should finally turn to a solid green LED, which indicates that the update is complete and the PLC is communicating. Next, we'll install the HMI software. For this part, we will need the USB stick that came with your kit, and you'll need to locate the HMI on the remote cabinet of your dryer. Go ahead and make sure that you have power to the HMI and that you're not in the middle of any process. You should not be saving settings or doing a sensor calibration while the update is in process. Assuming all this checks out, go ahead and open your swing door and look at the back of your HMI. In the top corner, you'll see there's a USB port. Insert the USB stick that we've provided into this port. Now if you look at the front of the HMI, you'll notice that a pop-up has appeared. Go ahead and hit the restart button. This will begin the update. The update should take 5 to 10 minutes, so be patient. You'll know it's done when you see the main discharge screen on your HMI. Once you see that screen, you can remove the USB stick. You've finished the update on your HMI, but you're not done yet. We still need to check factory settings. It's very important not to forget to reset your factory settings after doing a software update. This will require a service login. Some of the things you want to look for are your model and serial number. Make sure they're entered correctly so you have the right holding volumes. 
Your date and time should be corrected. This helps with MC Tracks to make sure that we're matching up the right data with the right time. Go through your features enable. You want to make sure that the correct sensor has been picked and also that anything you have activated such as AccuDry is picked. And also you'll have to activate any temperature controllers that are on the dryer. Once you've gone through the settings and you're confident that everything has been turned on that should be, you finish the update for this dryer. That's it for this video. Today we've talked about how to update your PLC and HMI software on a Pinnacle Light dryer. If you're a dealer and you were unable to make it to the end of this update, contact our technical helpline for additional assistance. If you have any questions or comments or you have an idea for a future video, email us at media at matthewscompany.com. As always, thanks for watching.